first you have to go to the develop tab uh, and then we're going to select our blemish remove tool I'm going to zoom in and find those spots on my forehead that I want to remove and I can easily tap and sample a nearby tap and drag and sample a nearby area to use to clear those spots up okay so I just tap and drag to to sample the area nearby and clear the spots up. Okay. Okay, you want to pick a sp space that's nearby and has a s about the same texture to um, help give you an even tone. So, zoom back in. This tool you want to be you know you want to keep the edits pretty small you know not doing too much you don't want to make your face look unrealistic but in the areas where you can tell there's some, uh, some kind of mark sitting on the face you know it's a good idea to use the blemish remove tool I don't like to use it for big areas like this scar I rather just leave those alone um, because they can also contribute to making the picture look fake all right so once we have our edit we can split use the split before and after view to to see where we cleaned up those edits there's a couple different options you can see on the right our blemished photo and our non blemished photo on the left and um, and once we're done, we can hit this develop. And now you can see all of our edits in place. And we have a clear photo with no blemishes. All right, if you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment if you have suggestions for new videos, uh, things that you would like to see in the Affinity Photo mobile app. Um, and uh, I hope to post more videos like this on a weekly basis. So uh, stay tuned for the next one. Alright, peace.